How are you guys all feeling today? Yeah? That's perfect, because I want you all to stand up right now. This is music class, so we're, always, we're gonna start with a warm-up. Okay, the first warm-up we'll do is breathing. Now, this is called belly breathing, okay? So a lot of times, we, as we grow up, we breathe with our chest. It just goes up and down, yep. But singing is not that way, so I'll show you how to belly breathe. First, put one hand on your chest like this, and put the other on your belly. Now you'll breathe, you'll, you'll inhale through your nose, and then exhale through your mouth. I'll do it first, and then we'll do it all together, okay? Watch my belly. <laughs> okay, we'll do it all together three times. Ready? Go. Again. And one last time. Okay, good job. Now that you're all relaxed, no, keep standing. We're not done. <laughs> so with this, now you know how to breathe, we're going to make some sound. You're going to go like this. Okay? The first one, you'll just hold that out, but make sure to belly breathe. Okay, let's do that all together. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to do that again, but again, slightly different. So follow after me. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that one more time, but again, slightly different. Follow after me. <laughs> Did you guys get it? Okay, we're not done yet. Now, that wasn't singing. We're going to do actual singing now. <laughs> so again, we'll continue belly breathing, but this time you'll sing with your voice. Just go, ah. Uh... Okay, so, ah. Uh... Okay, now again, we're going to go up and down with that. Breathe in. Ah. Uh... Yep. And then finally, the scale. Breathe in. Uh... Okay, good job, everyone. Have a seat. Thank you so much for joining me. So, who was tired after that? Yeah, some of you. <laughs> yeah, some of you had a harder time than others keeping up. That's just how it is. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. That's just how humans were created. For instance, some people are pretty bad at sports, but a genius at math. For some people, they're, they may be strong in the art of drama, but probably can't even cook an egg right. For me, I'd say I'm strong in music, but I'm terribly weak in singing. It sounds surprising at first, but you'll realize sooner or later that many music enthusiasts just like me are, are just like me. In fact, many of you sitting here right now feel self-conscious about your singing and would probably never sing in front of a crowd. As a fellow member of the Association of Non-Talented Singers, I am here today to change your mind to change those negative, discouraging thoughts that prevent you from ever singing. Because I'll tell you now, you can sing, and that you should sing. Again, I am weak in singing. That's me right now with that face. In fact, I was even worse several months ago. But first, let's go back two years ago. 
when I was first obliged to sing in front of someone. It was when I was in 10th grade, and I took AP Music Theory. I took the course because, like I said, music is my strength, and I'm absolutely passionate about it. But little did I know, I had to be tested for my singing every week in front of my teacher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I thought. You know, I was, I was okay, with, I was pretty good with all the technical stuff, but singing? I've never even done that to myself. I'm going to embarrass my, myself in front of my teacher, and he'll be so disappointed. Thankfully, thankfully, we were only tested on our pitch and our rhythm, so, which I managed to pull through. But that didn't stop the fact that I felt extremely self-conscious about how I sounded. Oh, I probably sounded so raspy and sick. I probably voice cracked at one point. And on and on and on, my thoughts rambled on as I took the music theory course. After my 10th grade year, I was determined to improve my singing. So whenever I knew no one was around me or could hear me, I'd sing my favorite songs, trying to imitate the various styles to find my own singing voice. I sang when I was walking to school, <laughs> when I was home alone, went in the shower, and even right before I slept. I sang, and I sang, and I sang, and I sang for my whole 11th grade year in secret. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, I was decently proud of my voice, I have to say. <laughs> I thought, I believed that I sounded like a pop star. <laughs> and I, I knew that I was definitely stronger in my voice. But then I thought again, what's the point if no one knows? What's the point if no one knows that I've worked so hard to improve? So, just several months ago, I opened up and sang to my mom. Now, my mom has the most wonderful singing voice, and I always wanted to sing like her when I was a child. In other words, she knew a thing or two about how to sing well. When she listened to my singing, as a loving mother, I thought she would compliment me. <laughs> However, as a loving mother, she critiqued me first by assuring me that I had a voice only a mother could love. I love you, Mom. <laughs> As you can guess, I was severely disappointed. But, but, that instead of giving up, I was even more determined. Hence, I wrote my capstone research paper on the science of singing. The first thing I learned through my research was the many benefits that singing brings to the singer. Firstly, Singing benefits you physically. Singing is actually considered an aerobic activity, which is a physical exercise that is performed through a longer period of time, so it is mildly tiring. Not only does this mean you can lose calories by singing, which is great, but it also means you have to breathe a lot. To practice, your breathing is so good for you, especially for this one particular group of asthma patients who volunteered to try singing lessons. This was an experiment proposed by Phone Cave, a vocal coach who hypothesized that maybe, just maybe singing was a better treatment for asthma compared to traditional pulmonary exercises. She was right. Not only did these patients improve in their breathing, they also found joy in, what, in their practices, encouraging some of them to sing on their own. Now, I hope this also encourages most of you to go home and sing on your own as well. Secondly, singing affects you emotionally. Singing is a form of speech. To sing means to speak, whether it's to yourself or to others. 
Throughout history, people have created speeches in order to persuade the audience to believe something or to feel a certain way. Some people create speeches for themselves in a form of self-talk, self-encouragement, self-persuasion. Words are powerful. Now, when you combine these powerful and meaningful words with the appropriate mood of music, you can change how you think and feel for the rest of the day. For example, if you're sad and you want to feel happy, sing songs of encouragement. If you're tired and you want to be energized, sing songs of life. If you want to feel romantic, feel, sing songs of love. There are plenty out there. And I hope this per persuades most of you to sing and encourage yourselves whenever you're feeling down. Now, the next thing my research taught me were the basic warm-ups. At the very beginning, we warmed up together, first with breathing, then with pitch. Believe it or not, that's all you need in order to sing. Therefore, the excuse that you can't sing is not valid anymore. For breathing, I told you to only move your belly, not the chest. When you do that, you're using your diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle that sits right below the lungs. When you breathe in, your diaphragm squishes, creating space for your lungs so more air can uh, go through. When you breathe out, your diaphragm expands, squishing the lungs so that air comes out. The stronger your diaphragm, the stronger you can push out your air. That's how you project your voice. Now you know what singing with your diaphragm means. We also created sound, the actual music. The ABCs of music is called pitch. A, B, C. When you change your pitch again and again and again, you are singing. In fact, I'm singing to you right now as I say these very words. I'll say that sentence again, but with only sound. Mm-hmm. Not the best, but singing. It's only natural for people to change their pitch. Otherwise, you sound like a robot, don't you? Yeah. It's only natural for people to change their pitch. It's only natural for people to sing. So for my capstone project, I had some high school, high school students volunteer to sing. They were told to do the singing warm-ups that we just did together for just a little over a week and record themselves singing a line of music before the practice and after to, to see if they improved or not. Unfortunately, just a little over a week wasn't enough to see major improvements in the singing. I mean, I took years to get to where I am right now. However, I did see something in the data. Every one, every single one of them who did practice either sounded more confident or felt more confident. As a result, many of them actually sounded better when they sang. Confidence. Confidence is so important when it comes to performance. It's so important to believe in yourself that you can sing and that you can improve. When we tell ourselves that we can't sing, we think it's because we weren't born with a talent. I tell you now, singing is not a talent. It's a skill. It's a skill that anyone with a voice can improve in. as long as you have the confidence and the motivation. If I wasn't motivated to sing, I never would have sung to myself or researched the science behind the singing. If I wasn't confident, I would have never had my mother's constructive criticism to tell me that I was still lacking the basics. If I, hadn't, if I don't have it both tonight, I wouldn't be ending my time by singing a song to you all, but I do. 
Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is my favorite song, one of my favorite songs, and it's a song of encouragement. So I hope all of you can get something away from this. And again, I apologize for my cough and sore throat. Let it go, let it roll right off your shoulders, don't you know? The hardest part is over, let it in. Let your clarity define you in the end. We will only just remember how it feels. Our lives are made in these small hours. These little wonders, these twists and turns of fate, time falls away. Let it slide, let your troubles fall behind you, let it shine until you feel it around you, and I don't mind. If it's me you need to turn to, you'll get by. It's the heart that really matters in the end. Our lives are made in these. and turns of faith time falls away but these small hours these small hours